Right guys, welcome to a game called Gunsmith. This is a simulation, like factory management game that is in very, very early development. It's pre-alpha as you can see on the screen. I wanted to play this game, I think it came out in like May or June 2018. I've been wanting to play it, I did actually get given a key for it, but the key didn't work, I contacted them and I didn't hear back. I managed to pick this up by getting a key off chrono.gg, which is a website I'm an affiliate for, and if you want to get this game with a discount of 30% off, head over to chrono.gg, and if you want to support me as a content creator, use chrono.gg slash born to game. Because I'm an affiliate, I will receive a revenue cut off the sales made for the game. The discount is for 24 hours only from the time of me uploading this video. Not only that, but whilst you're over there, make sure you check out the coin shop, log on daily to spin the little coin on the home screen, save up your coins, head to the coin shop, and you can get some cool games for free. The games in there are updated every two weeks. So, Gunsmith. You start off with practically nothing, it's like a tutorial, there's multiple different game modes you can play including sandbox, but I decided to start playing to see what the game was like and to see if I would enjoy it. Doing the main mode where your only objective is to become wealthy, the goal is to get a hundred million dollars. So if we jump into my game save, I will show you the progress that I've made so far and if you guys enjoy this game I'll definitely come back to it, I've had a lot of fun playing around with it so far. And it seems as though my game's actually bugged out. I don't know what to do from this point. If we go practice gunsmith, load it. Aha, there we go. Okay, so the continue button didn't work. This is what I have so far. This is still pretty much at the beginning of the game. And the tutorial will take you through everything you need to know to get it up and running. It gets more and more difficult as you progress. But to basically sum up the tutorial very quickly, you're going to need to learn about your production lines. Over here on the left hand side, I have a line set up to produce camo gloves. And then over here on the right hand side, I have a line set up to produce combat backpacks. If we quickly go into the top left, you've got your resources. The only resources I'm using at the minute are the fabric sheets and the plastic blocks. Eventually, once it goes through all the different machines and stuff, you will be able to make the camo gloves and the combat backpacks if you have the line set up that I have. So you put all the machines and stuff in, the game will give you everything to set up this first line, and then everything else you have to buy. There is actually over here, it's empty now because I'm using them, but there will be, I believe there's a dispenser over here, there's the boxing machine, which is this thing here. So if I take you through, I'll take you through the camo glove production line, how it works. Because that's the simplest, that's the very first one you get. So when you start the game, you'll have the dispensers here, you'll have to move the conveyor belts and stuff around. But the tutorial will take you through that, it doesn't take too long to do the tutorial. And if we quickly get this up, you can see that my playtime on this game, like this game save, is just over two hours. And I've only just turned a little bit of a profit. But you start off with the dispenser, you go through the output, and you select which item you want to output from your resources. In the overview, you can see that we're outputting fabric sheets from this dispenser. So they come out, they have to go through the cutting machine so that they get cut into the right shape that they need to be. So the output from the fabric sheets would be the gloves. Then this dispenser has plastic blocks in, they come out, they go through a heater, and then you'll see, I think it's if we press C, you can see that it says H1 when they come out of the heater, that means they're heat level 1. Because in this machine here, which is the plastic former, it will tell you at the top left the heat level needs to be 1. So the plastic blocks come out of the dispenser, they have no heat in, they go through the heater, they become heat level 1, then they go through the plastic former, and they output as a plastic fitting. So we have the gloves and we have the plastic fittings coming out of the machine so far, they then go into a merger machine, they get merged into the camo gloves. But it's not as simple as merging a couple of things together, you've got yourself a pair of gloves. Once they come out of the merger machine, you've got the plastic inside the gloves, they then go through the sewing machine so that they can get sewn together and they're an actual item. And then the output of this, it doesn't actually show you, but it will be the green camo gloves, which will mean they're complete. They come through to the boxing machine, and when you get 20 products in the boxing machine, it's going to produce a box, which is your items. And then you can build up storage racks for all the items you've got. 
and that's basically how the game goes. It's a little bit different with the combat backpacks. I'm not going to go through them in this video. If you guys do want to see more, I'll be more than happy to play this game. And I'll take you through it like we'll start a brand new game so that we can go through it together. But once you've got all that set up, you need to hire someone because there's now staff in the game. As you can see, our dude's gone over here to have a rest, I think. And he is a line control worker. So you put this workstation in and this controls your lines. So your production lines. The first one is for the camo gloves. And what you do is... You, go to, you can go to the station by clicking there and what you need to do is add and remove machines to have them all in a line to basically make it easier to power everything on and off when you need to do so. So on this we have the sewer level 1 which is over here, we have the plastic former which is here, then we've got the merger machine, then we have the cutter machine which is here, we've got the boxing machine over here, then we've got the heater level 1 which is there, and the two dispensers. So that's all together in a production line. You just simply add them all in with the add button, and then that way you can power them all on and off at the same time with your staff. You'll notice that when a machine is added to the production line, it will have the blue highlighted area around the object to say that that's what's in the line. So that's how to get the first production line set up. You just need to make sure all the machines are on at the same time. If for any reason you're making the plastic fittings and then they can't merge with the gloves or something they'll go back into your inventory so as you can see in my inventory the orange means it's like unfinished the green means it's finished and then the red is the raw materials so i have 82 fabric gloves that haven't been completed like they haven't been turned into a camo glove and i have 275 plastic fittings I also had, I think it was 425 camo gloves that just weren't sewn together. So what I did was bought a dispenser and everything. I just bought the stuff that I needed, which was a dispenser, a couple of conveyor belts, the sewing machine, another couple of conveyor belts, a boxing machine, and then the end of line where the boxes go down. I put all the gloves through the dispenser because you can obviously change the outputs, and I turned them into gloves and sold them. So once you've made the gloves and you've got them all in your storage, up here will tell you I have 17 storage racks with at least one available spot. So once you've got all your materials, like everything being processed, you've produced loads of gloves and backpacks and whatnot, you go into here to collect your orders. You've got available orders, which is the orders you can accept. You'll have a fulfillment time. You'll have the expiration time, so when the order expires. You'll have details about it and everything like that. And the further you get into the game, the more research you do the different orders that will become available. So if we just quickly find a glove order, there we go, 260 gloves. We accept that, we come over to the active orders. When you have enough stuff, you can click the tick. It will complete that, and up here you'll see that we got the money for it. Then your reputation with each client will increase as you get more and more orders done. Like there, we have Gerard Smith, he's trustworthy, his nickname's actually Jerry, but they'll come to you with more orders the more you fulfill for them. So you basically build up your rep, you get better clients coming in that are ordering more, you make more money overall. Then if we go into the research tab, we have quite a lot of research, I'm actually going to start research on the Bullet, Kappa and Former, because I'm eventually, hopefully quite soon, going to start production on 9mm bullets. So this is like your tech tree, you start off up here, there's a couple of machines around here that are already done, but you'll only start with the gloves which are down here. You need to put money into it to get research points to make them available to use on the research. And you can do that by coming up here, you can move the slider, it's going to cost money, but you can choose a percentage, and you can see that 4% costs $5,000 a day, up to a 50% max. And that's going to give you 127 research points per day. Depending on how much money you've got depends on how many research points and stuff you can get. What I did was headed down to here straight away for the combat stuff tier 1. Because that unlocks the camo vest, the combat boots, the trousers and the backpack. So that meant I could start up a new production line and start producing better stuff to make more money. Because our end goal is to have 100 million dollars. So that's the tech tree, there's not too much in it at the moment, I don't know if more stuff unlocks the further I get, but the game's pre-alpha, so there's a lot of work the devs have to do. Then if we come over here, this is the market, if you're running low on resources, I'm actually going to buy some because I've only got 2,000 of each, 
that's way more than enough but I just feel I want to get more so that if I forget about buying them I'll, I'll have them spare so I'm gonna buy let's say 5,000 of each the buy price is here and the sell price is over here that's all you really need to focus on and so far this early on it doesn't really matter how much you pay and I've never actually seen it above three dollars per item so 5,000 fabric sheets and 5,000 plastic blocks so now we've got 7,000 of each we can continue making all the stuff we need to make then if we come over to the cookbook this is all the different items and then you have machines over here so if we click on the combat trousers it shows you exactly what you need to do in your production line to make them so we would have to start with a dispenser and set that to fabric sheets then we need to get ourselves a cutter machine so that it makes the combat trousers then we need to get sewing level two and there's only one tier to each thing so if i move over you can see here i have two sewing machines because you need level two on the backpacks you just have to put multiple machines in the production line so if you need level four sewing on say like a high tech like military pair of boots or something you just put four sewing machines in then you need zipping level two so that'd be two zipping machines and then the end of line so you'd have to get the boxing machine and then put the end of line in so it explains everything you need to know how to set up the production lines and stuff like that we've just completed that research so i'm going to start the next thing which is the bullet propellant primer i've put a little bit of money into the research so that i've got enough points to actually start production on the nine millimeter bullets so next up at the top we have finance this just tells you your highest wealth reached is 128,000. Your bankruptcy threshold, I can go minus 77,000 before the game says you suck and kicks you back to the main menu. You've got to start all over again. Then it tells you your weekly revenue and your weekly expenditure. Then you've got like all your products and stuff down here. You don't really need to pay too much attention to that tab. Then you have staff management. When you come to here, you can recruit people. So you click on position, go to line control worker. That will cost you $1,500 per staff member. Their daily wage is $100. Then you go into line control, you can set them up to their different stations. You can rename your line control and everything through here. And you can make sure it's all up and running properly. Then if we come through to here quickly, you actually have a staff room. You need to try and make it comfortable to keep your staff full of energy. They'll keep working and they'll make sure your lines are up and running so that you're producing more items and making more money. Then over here, this tells you how much money you're putting into your research, how many research points you're getting per day. This is how much you're spending, like how much your upkeep is for machines and everything. This is your fire, I think. I've not really paid much attention to that. Over here, you've got all the machines. Then you've got your water. I don't need to use any water. And then over here, you have your power. So in the research tree, if we take a quick look, down here you've got your utilities, you've got the gas utility, not fire, sorry. You've got the water utility and then the power. Research this early on because if you want multiple production lines in your game, you are going to need to increase your power. Once you've done that, in the build menu down here, you can come to the utilities panel and you can put in a power generator. It costs $2,000, which isn't too much. And then you can just put them wherever you want in there. You'll have more power, your machines will carry on working. I need to actually accept an order. We're pretty much full up on everything. There we go. 520 gloves for you. 480 for you. There we go. We're back up to 30 storage racks that are empty. And we're up to $126,000. So that's all of that explained. This is your money over here. This is your indirect death count. So this is how many people have died indirectly from you producing stuff. So you're obviously going to get direct deaths when you start producing guns and things because you're selling them to people and you have no idea what they're going to use them for. Then down here you've got demolish mode, your hoover, your item cues tool, reset pitch, reset the clockwise and counterclockwise rotation. That's all there is pretty much to know about the game at the moment. You just keep making new production lines, producing new things, selling them on and making money. That was like an introduction to the game to let you know what it's about. I've had a lot of fun in the couple of hours I've played this. And remember, if you guys want to get this game with a 30% discount, the discount is for 24 hours only from the time of me uploading this video, then check out chrono.gg and use slash born to game to help me out as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.